Yes guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are on the hunt for the perfect white t-shirt. One thing I've been struggling with massively recently is to find the perfect white tee. I literally can't find one anywhere. I've gone from so many brands and they're either getting ruined in the wash or they're shrinking or they're losing their color or they're just getting so baggy and horrible. So we're here in central London, my hometown, to find the perfect white t-shirt. Guys, let's get shopping. Guys, we're gonna check out a number of different stores. We're gonna go from really cheap to really expensive. And first up is Primark. Let's go check it out. <laughs> If you know Primark, you'll know it's practically the busiest store in London. Let's go. No, we're not allowed doing any filming. Oh, really? Oh, you could have been in a vlog, baby. So. <laughs> could have been in a vlog, baby. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, bro. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Love you to meet you. Take care of yourself. Run into a fan. <laughs> Look, guys, we're only going to be 10 minutes, literally, just filming, pick up some stuff. Is that right? We'll literally just be about 10 minutes, picking up some stuff. Yeah, we'll keep it quite close. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Yeah, we'll keep it very close to chest. Yes. You're a star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> three, £3.50 a t-shirt. Let's see, let's see how we get on. Right, we're going to need probably a large. I usually wear a size large. Size large should be fine. Um, XL. The problem with Primark is they, I swear on my life, they never seem to have my sizes any, any clothes. Oh, there we go. Nice and large. XL, XL. 3XL, that is absolutely huge. Turn around there. Uh, <clears throat> Primark's a weird one, you know what I mean? You kind of get, you do actually find some reasonably nice stuff here sometimes. But the, the issue is, it's just the quality. The quality does seem to go, like you can wear it once and it'll probably fade. So if you want to just buy something quick and wear it once or twice, then do come to Primark because it is really useful for that kind of stuff. Like, so I always come here for like when I do like Halloween dressing, Halloween dressing up, or if I'm sometimes going on like a, a festival, I'll come here and pick up loads of like little bits. I don't care getting ruined. I can just leave behind. So it's useful for that. But anyway, let's try and find a size large white t-shirt and just see how it fits. Three pound fifty. It's not going to break the bank, is it? <laughs> right, small, no XL. So guys, Primark, three pound fifty, size large. Actually, fits okay. Like, you tell me what you think. Obviously, mind the sticker, I'm gonna leave it on there. But you can, the quality, not great. £3.50 though, absolute steal. I'll probably buy like, I could probably buy like 10 of these, 35 quid. And that's just one use. One use of each one, I've got 10 different days worth of t-shirts. <laughs> but actually, it's okay. It's quite nice around the arms. But yeah, you can tell the quality is gone. If I put this in the wash, it's probably gonna shrink, lose its color. Mm, but for £3.50, I'll probably give this, just for the price, a 6.5 out of 10. Let's go check out another store. So, uh, successful start <laughs> to finding the perfect white t-shirt. We um, got told off by security, or the store manager, for filming. Uh, we got attacked by a fan, and then we just got lost in the world's biggest Primark. But hey, we've left with no t-shirts. Uh, I think it was too cheap. £3.50 for a t-shirt. Nah, I'm not going there. But it is cheap, affordable, like I said. I gave it, what, 6.5 or 7 out of 10? 7.5? 7? 7 out of 10? 7 out of 10 just because of the price. But anyway, on to the second store. Where are we going? Where are we going to go? I think somewhere like River Island, maybe? Yeah, let's go River Island. Before you kept me waiting When I wanted to race white tea, nothing else. Do you want know, River Island? Do you actually have some really good dinner? So cheap as well. Here we are, baby. Two for 12 or three for 18. Let's see if we have a winner here. Probably a large. So this is their relaxed fit. So we've got a relaxed, slim fit in large. There's that. I'm pretty sure they've got a muscle and they've got a muscle fit as well, which I'm going to get in a large. Let's see how these fit. Medium. 
large. So that probably fit a bit nicer in the, in the muscle fit for sure. This is it. This is eight pounds or two for 12. And this is their muscle fit one. Actually, very comfortable. And it makes me look freaking stacked as well. Do you think I look stacked in this, George? <laughs> but also I picked up this one and I picked up the slim fit, like relaxed kind of fit. Uh, this is obviously just like real cotton, cotton kind of vibe. So it's very over oversized. And these are the stuff I don't really like. The collar's a little bit too loose on this one as well, so that's a no from me. But if you do go to come to River Island, I'd actually definitely recommend it. Their muscle fit top. This actually fits quite nice. Again, this is a large, quite close to the skin, but you, probably an extra large maybe, but I think, actually, no, I don't know. You think the large looks right? Yeah. this look good? Not too bad, is it? I think it's actually, actually for eight pounds on its own, or two for 12, this is actually pretty of a bargain. Way better. And the Primark one. If I'm get, if I gave Primark what six point point five or seven, this has got to be like a nine. So I'm going to give Primark like a, a five because that was only, I'm going to go back on my word. Primark a five. This has got to be a seven surely because this is at seven out of ten because this actually isn't too bad. But yeah, okay, we're getting that. I think we can find better, but um, for the price, still less than a tenner. This is a bargain. River Island, seven out of ten. River Island done. Open outfits. Let's give it a go. Absolutely nothing. Ugh. On to the next one. I always find in Zara, <laughs> their escalators are always like so tiny. And they're so minuscule. <laughs> yeah, next up, Zara. I actually love Zara, it's such a sick store. So guys, I've actually bought a lot of these t-shirts in the past. Zara, plain black, plain white t-shirts. And they are good to be fair for the price. That The price was $11.99. The only thing is, once these have gone through a wash a few times, they start to lose their shape and their color massively. Like I've got a few of these home, they're great if you're going on holiday or something. And for the price, I'd say they're probably as good, if not a little bit better than the um, River Island one we just, part, we, we just tried on. And they, this is what? The other one was what, two for 12 or one for eight? And this is 11.99. So I would recommend the Zara ones over the River Island ones. Um, but like I said, I've had these in the past before and they do really lose their shape, size, and color massively when you put them through the wash. So I, don't, I still think Zara is a no. So another one bites the dust and we've got absolutely nowhere. I think it's because we're going for quite affordable stores. As you see, that, that was the most expensive t-shirt we tried on. That was only 11 99 I think we need to hit like the Selfridges, maybe check out Harrods, Savile Row perhaps. Could find some pretty banging t-shirts. I don't know what my budget is. What's my budget? Maybe like, maybe I'll, I'll go to 50 pounds, maybe 50, 75 pounds for a nice plain white t-shirt. Let's go try and find one. Come on, on to the next one, guys. Next up, Selfridges. Now, George, you've got to keep the camera hidden because I have a feeling we're not going to be allowed this bad boy in there. Just keep it on and never turn it off and keep it close and hidden, okay? You've got one job. One job, mate. Come on. <laughs> Who's done that? It's so funny. I did not, I, I did not do that. Sorry, we've got a decent exposure, a decent exposure around it. <laughs> so that's sick. I love that. Sorry, white t-shirts, white t-shirts. Oh, I see a white t-shirt. That's very you. That's very me, isn't it? That's banging, I think. No, it's got bang on. Sorry, I really like that. <laughs> 110 pounds. 
I might just take us preview. Right. Sorry, 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 sorry. White t-shirts, white t-shirts. Previews do no stuff. There's a car from anyways. This is something I've done. Um, white t-shirts. The issue with when you're in Selfridges, there's just obviously, well, the benefit of Selfridges is there's hundreds of different brands in here. So you can literally spend just a full day shopping in here. And we don't have a full day shopping time. We only have like an hour's shopping time. So anything you see white, just point out and people go try it on. <laughs> 75 quid, George. Maybe, I'm gonna see if I got a large. Small. Sorry buddy, do you ever end up playing white tea and just a size large please? Oh, yeah, it's in the XL there, medium small. Oh. Thanks so much, I appreciate it boss. This could be the one, 75 pounds, Hugo Boss. We've jumped, big jump there, from what, 11.99 to 75 per head. We wanted to hit the top end, let's, let's try and find them. This is my budget, this is my max budget. I won't go over 75 quid for a plain white t-shirt. <laughs> no way. Uh, no size large Hugo Boss. The search continues. <laughs> Sandro, I love Sandro. So guys, as the search for the perfect white t-shirt continues, um, we're still in Selfridges, and I just jumped into a changing room to try on this Balmain plain white t-shirt. <laughs> So, look, this doesn't fit nice. It's tight around the back. It's not the best material. And it fits terribly, in my opinion. And this is 275 pounds. Like, that is ludicrous for a plain white t-shirt. I know that you're pretty much just paying for this. This is what you're paying for. Like, that's awesome. I love the brand. I absolutely love it. 275 quid. No way, I'd never spend 275 pounds on a white t-shirt. Go back to Zara, get that one for £11.99. I honestly think all you want from River Island fits very nice. It doesn't even fit very nice, honestly. The material isn't for me. Nah, I love the brand. I've seen it. They're amazing. This white t shirt is a no no. I would never spend £275 on a white t shirt. No need. Ugh. I love, I love Selfridges. It's such a cool store, man. I literally love it. What have we got here? John Smedley. That's a bit of Will Wade. It's not a white t-shirt, but it's definitely a bit of me. <laughs> I like that large. What's that from? Okay, it's nice though. Very nice. Watch, I see a white t-shirt. I think this task is actually becoming slightly impossible. Like, we've just left Selfridges, and that is the most, I don't know why I even went in there. Most, there's obviously so many different brands in there, and as much as I love like the brands from Diesel, I love Nudie Jeans, I love Ralph Lauren, most of their plain, plain white t-shirts don't exist because they've all got like, logos over them. Not many brands do like a really nice just plain white t-shirt because it's not, it doesn't suit their brand. Like Diesel, for example, I went in to look for their white t-shirt and it's just got patterns all over it. And it's like, that's not what I'm looking for. I just want a simple, plain, slim fit with a little bit of stretch, white t-shirt with good quality. That isn't going to ruin in the wash. That isn't going to shrink. That isn't going to baggy out all the time which isn't gonna get loose on the arms it's driving me crazy so I think the, the next best option is literally just sacking <laughs> thanks mate <laughs> um, for the interrupting me <laughs> um, I think the next best option is to search online I think I think we're gonna find more options online I've got a few ideas in my head and a few brands I could think of which are gonna work so I think time to leave the streets of London, get open, open my laptop and get home. So yeah, let's go online shopping.
So guys, that was stressful, should I say. Shopping around central London, trying to find the perfect white t-shirt. I've been into so many different stores, like honestly, probably 25, 30 different stores. And I just couldn't find one I was like obsessed with, or like this is just perfect, I couldn't find it. Obviously the ones I showed you in more detail, like the River Island one, the Zara one, they were nice, they were cool, but they were still quite, cheap and they i just know from previous experience them those specific t-shirts don't last that long they're great if you're like i need a quick white t-shirt for one occasion or if you're like me last week when i was on my way to a meeting and i was literally dripping with sweat and i had to run into h&m and pick up a quick five pound t-shirt they're perfect for that or if you want to go on holiday quickly and you need a couple of white t-shirts to fill in the suitcase because you know they're going to get ruined perfect and they're great for that but I, i'm looking for one which is just got that feel to it that it's gonna last. That's not just gonna be like, a, oh, this white t-shirt I bought and it's gonna go straight in the bin in a couple of weeks or gonna get ruined in the next wash. So I couldn't find it today in Central and I've been into a number of different stores. So I thought the next best option was to check online. So let's do my research and I guess let's get scrolling. <laughs> So guys, I really thought this was gonna be an impossible task. After hours shopping and hours looking online, I was thinking to myself, should I just give up and just go back to Zara and pick up that plain white t-shirt? <laughs> I could definitely get a few wears out of it. However, after a few more extra hours searching online, I managed to find a few cool brands which I think work perfectly. But guys, trust me, trying to find a plain white t-shirt, how, why is this so stressful? Like, I thought this would be the easiest task ever. Oh, but we're nearly there. We're nearly, nearly there, and I think we've found the perfect website online. So guys, after lots of searching, many different brands and many different websites on social and on the internet, I found three, three websites that look pretty good. <laughs> One of them is called Spoke. Um, they do lots of like tailoring and stuff for like t-shirts, jeans, tops, shorts, accessories, denim and stuff. Um, which look good, they look really good. I've also one, found one called Untuck It, and also another cool, but Untuck It again, they do quite a lot of stuff, but um, shirts mainly, however they do have a t-shirt selection as well. And then I found, last but not least, a really cool one called Son of a Tailor. Now, these look like they specify specifically in just t-shirts. Um, and they look really good as well. And they kind of like focus heavily on like, massively on like not, not wasting any product or anything. So um, I think I'm gonna give these guys a go. Um, yeah, they're like, they've got so much options on the website. There are lots here, like cotton t-shirts, wool t-shirts, peak, peak, peak t-shirts. <laughs> Tensile t-shirt, cotton high neck t-shirt, wool high neck t-shirt, light summer tee, invisible undershirt. So I think I'm gonna give this a go. Um, I'm gonna get perhaps a couple of their white t-shirts in some of the different materials and see how I get on. Um, yeah, so guys, right, I'm gonna order two of these through Son of a Taylor and let's have fingers and toes crossed that I can, that this website, this brand, will give me the perfect white t-shirt. <laughs> I guess guys, let's put the order in and see how we get on. So guys, I thought I'd run you through their process really quickly. Um, the brand, as you can see, is called Son of a Tailor and you can see how many different kind of styles of t-shirt they have. Um, it's a really, really simple process actually and it's quite a fun one too. You feel like you're kind of like creating your own t-shirt. So you start off by choosing the style you want um, you obviously click on the neck you'd like. I obviously like the simple crew neck. I don't want anything too botchy or square or high neck. That's not really for me. Um, if you want any initials on the t-shirt or anything, you can also do that as well. Um, for me, I like my t-shirts plain. Um, you obviously put in your height, your weight, your age, and your sh shoe size. And the magicians and the wizards, should I say, over at Son of a Tailor, just 
put these all into a machine, obviously, and all these recommenda body recommendations, body types, and they just kind of work it out that will fit you perfectly. <laughs> um, yeah, so when the t-shirts do arrive, hope hopefully they should fit perfect to your body after the measurements you put in. You can just save um, these measurements as well for any other t-shirts and designs uh, you want from the website. So I actually um, ended up choosing one of each actual t-shirt off the website. The only ones I didn't go for were the high necks because I don't really like the high necks. But yeah, I went for two white t-shirts and I also picked up a couple of other, other colors as well. So yeah, guys, time to try on the t-shirts and see how they fit when they arrive. So guys, it's been a couple of weeks now, as you could probably tell, I've had a haircut in that time and the t-shirts have finally arrived. And I'm just gonna quickly talk to you guys through the process of Son of a Tailor. So, it's actually a really cool process. You kind of go through, like I showed you on the, the screenshots of the video on my laptop, and you pick your sizes and stuff, and what they do is they send you just one T-shirt. So my T-shirt arrived, and I ordered actually a few different colors, because I was like, do you know what? They've got loads of different kind of types of T-shirts. Like they've got the wool, they've got like a sports fitting tee, they've got a cotton tee, a piquet tee. So I thought, screw it, let's order a bunch, but I thought let's not just order every single one in white t-shirt, let's order a couple of different colors. Cause then at the end of the day, if I find one I really like, then I can also order that in white. So you put your sizes into the website, like I showed, and then they send you just one, just in case it doesn't fit or you put your sizes in wrong or whatever. And then what they do is if you're happy with that fit, they then will proceed to make the rest of your t-shirts. So I just received the one and I was like, how come, where, where the hell are the other t-shirts? So I emailed them, like, William, this is how we work. And I was like, that's such a good idea. So first he sent me this gray one and this is the 100% cotton fit tee. And look, it just fitted, fit, sorry, perfectly from the measurements I put in the website. I like it with a little bit of length. It's a little bit muscular fit and it fitted to my kind of body shape. And yeah, it feels really, really nice. The quality on this is unbelievable. So. As soon as I got myself sorted and I was like, I rang them and spoke to them and said, look, where's my order? They were like, right, if you're happy with the t-shirt, we'll send you on the other, um, on the other t-shirts. And finally, the box arrived, literally today. So here we are. Um, I've literally opened it this morning very briefly, but so I ordered a couple of different colors and I ordered two white t-shirts because that is the main, that's why we're here today, right? To check out the white, find the perfect white t-shirt. However, if say, for example, one of the like black t-shirts I ordered fits in it, one of the different kind of styles, then I can also get that in a white and I'll know it fits really well. So let's, I guess, try on these and see how they fit. Let's get rocking. So guys, first up is this white t-shirt from Son of a Tailor. And this one is the PK design, P-I-Q-U-E, I believe. I hope I'm pronouncing that okay. But it's one of the designs and the styles on the website. And yeah, fits so, so well. And honestly, the quality of this is incredible. For me, this is like just a perfect, perfect kind of white t-shirt. I, I, we're there, like, I think this is it. It's quite tight and maybe a little bit actually t tight around the arms, but only because I've been training quite hard lately and maybe my arms are actually getting quite big. Yeah, I'm feeling good. <laughs> so yeah, um, but yeah, very nicely fitted at the top, a bit more muscular. Got my muscle up. I don't like my tees oversized or anything really. If, if I'm trying to find the perfect fitted white t-shirt to go underneath jackets or just simply wear a pair of shorts, this is just absolutely perfect. It's nice and loose at the bottom, perfect bit of length. If you have enough room to use to tuck it, in, tuck it in and stuff, I'm really movable. And the quality, like I said, is really good. And they're, what sort of a tailor do as well, obviously they email you the process as the t-shirt's being made and like stitched and being processed through the factory. And they even let sign off by the person who made it. So this is for William, made by CEU, made by Sue, whoever whoever that is around the world. So they sign it with their little signature and stuff. So it's such nice little details and, oh, I love that. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, this is t-shirt number one and this is the PK. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think um, in the comments below. But yeah, I absolutely love this. And yeah, it feels lovely. Really, really like that. So yeah, so far, so good. Let's try on the other one, guys. And guys, on to t-shirt number two, or t-shirt number three, essentially, including the gray one. And this, I think, is better than the previous white one. This is the cotton one, and it is, I think this is it, perfect. It is not so tight around the top, a little bit looser fitted, but a bit more airy, but you can, and the material is just a lot more elastic. I think this feels great. Like, I absolutely love this. This is so, so good. Honestly, I can't go around nice if one is. It fits incredibly. 
I think it's the quality here is insane. I think for the price as well, guys, this is unbelievable. Son of a tailor, a big thumbs up from me. I absolutely love this. Very, very happy considering how stressful I was a couple of weeks ago running around central London trying to find a t-shirt. And this is so good. Oh, I love this. Absolutely perfect. Let's check out some of the other t-shirts and see how the other designs fit. They'll be in different colours though, but yeah, let's check on let's check out this. So I also picked up this blue wool t-shirt from Son of a Tailor. I actually picked up one different t-shirt from every single one, apart from I didn't get into the high necks because they're just not for me. I don't really like them kind of style of t-shirts. Um, and honestly, guys, after trying on each and every one of them, they, they're all unbelievable. They're all obviously different fabrics, different materials kind of things. So they do feel, all feel a bit different. So I can't really tell you guys which one's my favorite. They, they're all, all unique in their own way. So it's really hard for me to say, oh, I wish I had this one in a white or the wool one in a white or the PK one in a white or whatever. Because I think they're all unique in their own different ways. Um, to make things even easier for yourself, maybe just buy every single one in a white t-shirt. <laughs> but I think it's such a website. If you're looking for the perfect white t-shirt, this one was made by Lucia. Oh, it's so nice. The different, obviously, different fabrics made by different people. Just honestly, it's, so, it's such a cool brand. So unique and super cool. So I highly recommend checking out Son of a Tailor. So easy and the process was super cool as well and super fun. Like you create, you're essentially creating your own t-shirt and how they keep you up to date with the process and the delivery and the manufacturing or whatever. It's such a nice little touch to it as well. Um, so yeah, highly recommend it guys. Absolutely love it. Like I'm actually over the moon. I think I finally found kind of the perfect t-shirt company or the perfect, yeah, I was looking for a white t-shirt but I've actually found the perfect t-shirt company. So if you're looking for some nicely fitted t-shirts, Check out Son of a Tailor, I highly recommend them. Um, it's a massive 10 out of 10 from me. Considering a couple of weeks ago we were in Primark trying on t-shirts for £3.50. We've come a long way together, so I'm very happy with this. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna sign this video out there. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Guys, I hope you have a great week ahead and I'll see you on the next one. No. Pretty.